daily news analysis on Biafra Television. I am Ngozi Chukoka. And I have Marcy Victor Onyedo with me. I also have Marcy Elvis on with you We're on Emo. Of course, he has joined us. And of course, uh, they've been analyzing what we have here this morning. We have been analyzing, we have been discussing, we have been exposing all the things that are going on in the Afro land and of course in the contraption called Nigeria. So please, the lines are open for you to also call and make your contributions. Let's also hear from you. What is your take? What do you think? What is going on and um, in your own area? How much are you also prepared? Don't forget, the most important, important of all we are saying here today is the 30th May Heroes Celebration Day. 30th May is sacrosanct. It is a day we must honor. It is a day we must respect. It is a day we must remember. It is a day we must show respect. Of course, uh, it's a holy day. Our ancestors must be remembered. Our heroes must be remembered. Very, very important. So please, that very day, wherever you are in Biafra and wherever you are in the contraption called Nigeria, the Biafra, you have to sit at home. It's really, really important. You have to sit at home and think of the way forward. And of course, it's also a time for sober reflection, we would think. Uh, you reflect to what happened in the past. How did it happen? Um, you know, why did they succeed uh, in killing uh, so many people? Uh, why are we still being killed? Now, what is the solution? What part do I have to play to ensure that our people are free so such genocide cannot repeat again? These are the things you should reflect on. It's really important. As a matter of fact, as it stands now, everywhere has been surrounded by the fallen headsmen, and of course, they are preparing for the jihad. Don't forget, last year they called on, uh, they, they made a press statement, and of course, called on all their brothers from the Sahel region, from all uh, West African countries, to come down and join them in the jihad. And since then, we've been seeing trailer um, full of Fulani being, uh, you know, brought down to Biafra land. They are everywhere. They are there at the back of your house. They are there in your farm. They are camped in so many of those thick forests in your community. Those places you can't even enter. They are already there waiting to explode. And don't forget that the radio right now is um, the radio itself it has been funded to ensure they reach them wherever they are. So please, everyone, everyone, need to be careful. Watch your brother's back. Watch each and every one. And of course, know what is um, going on in Biafra land. Thank you once again. I am Ngozi Chukuga. So the lines are open for you to call in and make your contributions. Okay, so uh, Mazi Onyido, what do you have to say with all these things going on? Uh, of course, uh, we, we have discussed what we have in our headlines today. And of course, uh, let's also look at the situation. How are we going to avert what's to come? Do you think people should be panicked with what is going on in our environment? Well, uh, there's no need to panic about uh, what is going on. It is uh, what is already written and it is what we have been expecting. It just depends on how you prepared your mind for it because uh, if you don't prepare your mind for the best, at least you should prepare your mind for the worst. But if your mind is not prepared, if your mind is not made up for anything at all, then you are even a confused person. If you don't belong to Biafra, you don't belong to uh, the Arawa North, if you don't belong to the Yoruba, then you are still a confused person. You have to choose, you have to make your choice now. IPOB is offering you the ample opportunity for you to come under the umbrella of IPOB because rain is going to fall. And if it falls, I'm very, very sorry if you allow it to touch you. All right, call on WhatsApp. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Thank you. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Uh, hello. Hello. Okay, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Go ahead. What's the name? Where are you calling from? My name is Chukuri Ojimba. I'm the coordinator for Amsterdam. I'm calling from Poland. Thank you for good morning, Mr. Welcome. Ada. And Victor Ada, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank all of you for whatever you are doing for 
our nation to restore. Um, I heard what you read this morning. Only what I want to tell our people is that, uh, first of all, our tethered man is not negotiable. And uh, for now onwards, I want to tell all Biafrans of the whole world, as we do it in Europe here, every every first May here is a, is a holiday. We have to establish the same thing here in Af in our land, that every time May, we have to take it as a day that we're going to honor our heroes, the people that surrender their life to us to live. And uh, at the same time, I want to use this opportunity to say this early morning that uh, our people need to take every every step to make sure that uh, they will never leave any hate men to give a chance again to kill any of our people. If they kill, let them retaliate. Our youth need to mobilize themselves. Every village need to mobilize themselves now because this attack is because they killed their own and they, we see it now that the police cannot help us again. Nobody can help us. We can only help ourselves. This is the only thing I want to say because I need the opportunity to tell our my brothers and sisters in Amsterdam that they listen to this early morning that they, on the 30th of May, everybody need to come down to Amsterdam Central Station. That is where we negotiate that we are going to march together to pay respect to those that are dying for live, to let us to live. Thank you, my sister, thank and you. thank you all their friends. I greet Mazen and Kale and Ruchame for everyone that is working so so powerful to to make this our work to restore. Thank you very much and God bless. Bless you too. Thank you very much. Of course. We must remember because it is done everywhere all over the world. It's done in America, it's done in Israel, it's done in Rwanda, it's done in every other part of the world. And we must also remember. I can hear you. Yeah, hello. Can go ahead. What are you calling from? Good morning from here. Thank you very much. Good morning, fellow dear friends. Thanks and the lovers of freedom. The revelation of Chico Bika Diyama, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the giver of life, continues to be with us. My name is Udo, and I am calling from any service this morning. I want to say, the remembrance of foreign heroes, those that died for war, those that died for our sake, remains our goal. In every Catholic in which we are looking forward to God in a short time to come, it is clear that everyone has gotten the message both the people in urban and rural area. And we must listen and obey for our own good. These people will just die. They will accused by the same evil people that is terrorizing and killing us today. And that is the reason why it is compulsory that we remember them. Because we are resisting the same evil people as the did and the are true. I'm using this opportunity to continue to sound this way that our innocent brothers and sisters, our mothers, our fathers are still in detention in any good place. And they are innocent. We found ourselves in high level of intimidation in the zoo by a particular tribe. Who think that they have right to kill people and go scot free? But we are telling them that they are showing the speed of destruction. In future to come, they will see, they will reap the seed that they are showing. When we want our people to be free, we want our people to be free. Our mothers, our fathers, they are in detention in Yemen's prison by the state government called by Isa Yuguan, who has the God to purchase a bag of rice and some gifts to our suffering health men here in Enugu province, at the same time, defend his own people. Three days ago, he bought so many things and gave it to this our suffering health men that is residing in Enugu province. And he still has the God to defend his own people his own mothers, his own fathers. We are telling him that 
our people must be allowed to go to their homes because they are innocent. And as soon as you do this, it will be better for him. Because whatever you do in this life, definitely you must get the repercussions. Father, may the blessing of people to continue to guide and protect all of you. You must continue to do this work because it is a work of heaven. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, we have a call on WhatsApp. And after this call uh, coming from WhatsApp, we will go on a short break so we can play a video clip of what is going on and, of course, what we should expect very soon in the contraption called Nigerian. The jihad is real and it's ongoing right now. All right, call on WhatsApp. Hello. Yeah, hello. Good morning from here. What's the name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, good morning. My name is uh, Mr. Chukwode. I'm all the way from Switzerland. Um, my sister, Mr. Chukwoka, and my brother, Victor Nido. May God bless both of you. May God bless our little Mazen man, the Kanushi Mufo, Makuafo, Mazenibe, all the hard line, all the Afro swim on their way. May God keep all, all of us alive and protect us and give us more knowledge, wisdom and courage, boldness to continue this journey and to restore this Biafra as soon as possible in our time. Dream of our Lord Master Jesus, I pray. Amen. You see. So my brother, what I have to contribute this money in what you have said, you know, and um, Israel, our Ally Israel, they live with the Islam for so many years and they have learned the Islam very well. They said, Benjamin Netanyahu said, we cannot make peace with somebody who don't know what is peace. Somebody who don't even know that peace exists. You never make peace with that person. We can only make peace with somebody who knows what is peace, that peace do exist. The full enemies don't know what is peace. All these things your Basanjo are saying and they are what traditional ruler for Nando, the three people in his community. He just come out and make political speech. And all those things are political speech, they are political. They know that um, Islam have agenda. I know it, you know it. Your uh, know it. Everybody knows their agenda is to deep in the down the ocean, but because of their um, what they are benefiting from politics, they refuse to say the truth and be saying another thing. So, but one thing I want them to know: there are some people who are starting to come to join indigenous people for we to fight this battle together. They will say, "Well, I don't know. Um, they don't consign me." And this and that is not possible. I'm discussing with one man the other day. He told me that it is not possible. It's not possible, but they close our, our seaport. It's possible. Their governor never do anything. You never do anything. They close our airport now last week. It's possible. Your governor did not say anything. He did not say anything. Nothing they will do now. They will come and close that main market where you are staying and all those churches you are worshipping and bring a man there and turn them to mosque. So they will not say anything to I well you tell them they say it's not possible. They see something happening, killing see every day. No one is talking and defend no one is uh, no one have ever hold a hand table, no one have ever been to justice. So full me is loading the agenda every new day. They rule out the new plan. They are not listening to what people are saying. Their plan is to kill everybody and deep they are Korea in the ocean. So all these things people are talking is just buying time to eat money. So I encourage our people everywhere in the Afghan land, everywhere in that's called Nigeria, everywhere in Africa, everywhere in the world, just save yourself. Now is the time. Look for new look for any family, indigenous people of Biafra, I be close to you. Register your name there. There you will have the advice from us. You will hear the step to take. You will be informed what you should and should not. What is what is 
we are how we are going to defeat these enemies. Not just say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the war is you you are already in your bedroom. You say it doesn't matter. So this is what I'm, I'm contributing this morning. And the other one I want to say on that sheet of men, I've made it priority. I've called all my family members, although they don't know me, although but both of them are already their friends. Those who are not I have converted them. They are, they are now their friends. Everyone knew that they should be at home on that evening till six in the evening. No going out or in the street playing football or draft. We should be indoor and give honor to our elders that die for women and live. Please, I encourage everyone to do the same. This has a very big impact in the international community. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Goodbye for now. Thank you. Okay, bye. All right, so this moment we will be playing a video clip of uh, the Fulanese who already prepared for jihad. And of course, they are asking, I hope you are ready for the jihad because they, they are everywhere and it is happening already. We all need to be vigilant. We all need to be careful. We all need to be ready, ready to face what is to come. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You are still watching some Brazilian news analysis on Biafra television. Of course, I will. Uh, you just finished watching that video, the Fulan Hetman, but I will allow Marzi you know, to say something about that video before we go ahead. After that, um, Marzi Elvis also, because I think uh, he understands, he has lived in the north. I don't understand the <laughs> language. So, uh, in one minute, can you explain what that video is okay. about? Uh, well, uh, it's just uh, what is happening. You know, um, it, there, it doesn't need much explanation because uh, our people, even if you explain what uh, the details, of uh, what that song and what uh, they are saying, they will still not believe you. They will tell you it's fake news. Yeah, it's not true. So, no, but uh, you, you know, um, they are just a kind of. Uh, it's like a, a war song. They are a kind of uh, encouraging themselves that uh, everybody you know they have one simple ideology, which is if you're a true Muslim, you must participate in jihad because if you don't participate in jihad, then you are not going to make heaven according to them, and uh, it, it doesn't matter who you are. So it is a simple ideology. That they all have and uh, they are preparing you know these very people for an operation they are moving out to go and uh, carry out uh, the jihad which is what every single one of them believed in and uh, they believe other people that are coming to also join them should also fall in line with uh, as okay. the ideology all right um in one minute Mazi elvis uh, what do you have to say what do you understand do you understand anything from the song from the chants that we are making Yes, um, my sister, what they are saying is simply a war song. What it simply means uh, that they are here to implement jihad. And anybody that doesn't want to be converted to Muslim will be crushed. And they are fully loaded, fully equipped, fully prepared to bring the jihad. And they are doing the work of their God. And that is... Allah that has sent them and inshallah that they will not fail and they said that those of the enemies that are stubborn that they are waiting I mean they, that they should wait for the, the invasion that is coming onto them shortly and that was what they said last and you see them moving with their, their, their bike that shows that they are going to invade the enemies that they are on their way coming so your friends should know that this is not a child's play. I see so many writers here I says that Bugari jihadis and the Fulanis will not uh, walk succeed in Jesus' name. That is good. You pray a prayer. Prayer without work is good as dead. So stay there and continue to pray. And these people are well prepared. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. Of course, we've heard it. All right, Akola, we have a call on the phone. Hello. Hello, good morning. Thank you, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. I listen for this video now. Yes, exactly. You know, 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 you know
So I I suggest and I tell every and every one of us to try to even to not to surrender any gun because they want to disarm everybody and now take everybody on our way. As for me, I have told my people nobody should surrender any gun. Buy more instead of you to surrender the one you have. It's better you die defending yourself than to die, than to die for nothing. Thank you and God bless you people. Bless you too. Thank you very much. You know, um, our people keep saying, don't surrender your gun. Don't surrender your gun. Use it to defend yourself. I have this question. How many Biafrans own a gun? That is where the problem comes from because, uh, you know. Okay, just okay. hold on. Hello, call on the phone. Call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good morning from here. Don't what sorry the name of Yahushua Mashal. My name is Educate Kunayarim, a native of the Kumi. A Kumi is under Navy Saloka government, Navy is under Omambara province. Thank you, my good will of Biafra, all over the whole universe. Which Kulka Biafra. Now, I use this opportunity to encourage all our brothers and sisters in the Black Alliance to remain but at that time is already to acknowledge and acknowledge um, our passing heroes and brothers and sisters and children that die that we may live today. Um, my brothers and sisters to see that um, Biafra is a so without Biafra there's no life. Uh, for that song that uh, yeah, you play the click in a video shows everything is open. Right now, I advice I have to give you everybody now is what to support their own vigilant group in their village. Sponsor them, partner with, see that everything is sort out. Uh, issue of um, uh, ammunition or equipment is not what discussed on air. But I know when you partner with your vigilante group in your village, they will turn near you how to sort things out. Our issue is very simple. Our enemy is evil. So it's very easy. Everything that we need now is that we are going to unite at the one broom to sweep it out. As long as they stand their face for loss, that for, for partner with the vigilante group, because you can see now, governor is saying you, and um, um, traditional last fence, and the police are going to report. They say you, our people used to say that, I got a me before police are there. Okay? God will bless the Afro land, motherland. God bless all the whole Jew all over the whole universe. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank and time off for here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have another call on the phone. Hello. Hello, call on the phone. Hello? Yeah, good morning. What's the name of you calling from? I'm calling from Abba. Okay, what is your name? All right, well, as that call, um, do call back so that we can hear from you. Let's know what your opinion is on the subject matter. Okay, so you were saying something. How okay. many people own a gun? Well, my sister, uh, from the look of things and from what I mentioned earlier, um, I don't think uh, some, anybody owns any gun in their front land, you know, from the way I see it. But the message should not be uh, whether you should surrender your gun. The message should be go and get a gun. 
that is uh, that is uh, i mean my own uh, yeah, suggestion I so i don't think anybody have a gun is it our poor mothers in the village or is it our demented youth that they are other pastors is coming out to tell you that there is not going to be any islamization there's no jihad and, of course, and what has the video have proven them all they fight. keep calling on holy ghost to come and fight you know, you know how much <laughs> demented our, our people that have is become. my sister is he, uh, making me shed tears even the bible say if you do not have a gun sell mm. your clothes Say so those, uh, those your properties, but those nonsense you have. And you know, so do they believe Holy Spirit is going to do everything for them? How suffer I mean, will come and kill them in their church? You hear their choir robe, and they will be praying Holy Ghost fire, kill them. And the Holy Ghost fire have not been killing them but for the past two years. Ago, Fulani Hetman, uh, Fulani, um, Boko Haram, sorry, invaded two churches in the north, Equa and one other church. Yes. They killed and then made away with the sisters Imagine. from the church. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, what, and, you know, most times we are end up just itself might end up even, uh, you know, become being pregnant for them now. Not even <laughs> pregnant. You might be saving your your virginity for tomorrow for your yeah, marriage for, for or your husband. marriage mm. with uh, God or whatever. Mm. Forgetting, you read the Bible, but forget that there is something you need to do on your own. Also. Today, Israel is there. Israel, we call on Israel, the God of Israel, the mm. God of Jerusalem, and mm. whatever, whatever. But Israel cannot do without ammunition. Gone. No lady. No lady. Three more than us, yet they have their arms. That is that is the problem, my sister. Religion have made our people to become so useless that a pastor will tell you uh, preach you gospel, and people cannot even reason. Now that the jihad is here, you, at, at least people should you know think think twice. Get your gun now that is is it is very very available for you to get it. Even the police, there are some people are asking, where do I get it? Go to police station and buy your own. DPO, <laughs> the cell gun, and all of that. Let me say you tell my wife, let it happen. Go and get your gun. Jihad is coming here. Don't come to me and cry that hey we did not. The pastor will not protect you. All of them they have their private jet. What what's it happen now? They flies out. Right. They are right. coming to tell you they are Arawa pastors and all of that with their counterparts over here telling you that jihad is not coming. Look at the video. This woman now they meant every single word of what they are saying. They have their own guns, they have their own ammunition. So whatever thing you are doing, be friends and all of us of freedom, get your own guns and protect yourself. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Hello. Good morning and welcome to the program. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Wendell Gozi. Yeah, we can hear you. Good morning. What's the name? Where are you calling from? Uh, good morning. Uh, um, yes, my name is Aokudu Shukuwa. I'm calling from the United Kingdom, precisely London. I want to thank you this morning, Wendell Gozi and uh, Victor Olido. Uh, honestly, I really appreciate uh, you guys' effort towards this restoration of our dear nation, therefore. Um, I just want to contribute this morning based on the, what is going on and the, the, in that uh, uh, zoological construction. You see, I honestly, I want to thank uh, you know our leader, Martin Nandi Kano, for making this uh, media possible for us, the difference. Because without this... Uh, uh, television, uh, 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 Biafra television and radio Biafra, honestly, I don't know where we would have been by, uh, I mean, today. Without any, you know, just imagine one living without information. You can imagine that. So, everybody, in the United States, with our leader and also his wife, and every members of IPOB that will gather uh, on that territory of me, that you could have Chukwu Biyama, will guide and protect them from every hands of the enemies in the mighty name of Chukwu Biyama. Yes, sir. Yes. I want to uh, contribute on this uh, uh, video you just played now, the uh, Fulani uh, 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 Jihad preparation. You see, our people now need to do one thing. I just want to advise them on this. They should go on and get their radio, especially those ones that understand this uh, Osa uh, language, uh, to get their uh, the, the new um, uh, foreign uh, radio station that they, they just opened for them, you know, to use the uh, language they're going to use to communicate their people when the jihad will, take, uh, uh, will start. So, uh, 
our people should endeavor to get this radio, those ones understanding this language, our language, to go and get it also and listen as well to hear what they are discussing there, you know, what they are, you know, discussing with their people, you know, or regarding the jihad that is upcoming. Because people are thinking that these things are just jokes, these things are just mere play. But I, I honestly, sometimes I, it, 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 it baffles me how our people reason in these days. How can they go to church and start praying all, all about, just a church about praying, Holy Ghost fire, let the blood of Jesus fight for them. How can the blood of Jesus fight, fight, fight for you when, when someone that is coming with AK-47 coming to kill you? And they are there praying the blood of Jesus to, to save you, to save you. No, do the prayer, your prayer, your prayer, and you do it all at the same time for your work. Israel, the God of Israel they are coming upon today, they are doing their prayers and also they have their AK for them, they have their weapons by their side. So if you come on with the spiritual side or the prayer side, they will fight you, fight on with the prayer, they will, you know, contend with you in that in the same, the same Bible. If you come with AK for seven, they have it also by their, by, on their right hand, they will contend with you with that AK for seven. Not just only prayer, a prayer, a prayer. And people are being deceived by this. Uh, pastors and uh, and uh, 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 evangelists and the uh, bishops in the churches today. They make our people to you know to start you know they they, they get their mind from focusing on what is facing them. They learn to apply the will of things on ground and they are just there thinking that somehow God will come down to defend them or fight their fight. I honestly sometimes it beats my imagination. If people who are educated, these are youth also a lot of them are educated. They are in high institutions and they are in schools. Then they are not learning anything. They are just there partying, you know, going to party, going to what, what they call uh, 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 convenience shows, you know, you see them laughing. I know I want to fight I ask myself, is it all about laughing just to go there and just make yourself happy for just uh, like a couple of hours? And you come back home, you continue facing, the, you know, facing your problem, you know, the world that is uh, you know, before you. So I encourage them to start work down and if those who have not, you know, got their where they check out the, or, or, or their pump action or whatever uh, uh, God they are going to get, let them tell them what they are going to let that money they are the type of offering they are using to pay to this criminal, this asshole. Let them save that money also for to for, for, the, for to get something for themselves to defend their their life and their family and their land this one. Let them go and use it and get something to defend themselves, to protect themselves, and not just sitting down there praying, praying, praying that you see, that, you know, that nobody, nobody is anywhere to answer. So this is just my, 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 my advice, my piece of advice to them this morning. Okay? So I pray that Chukwa Diyama will guide and protect our land and our people, okay? And as they woke up and uh, face the reality on ground, in the mighty name of Chukwa Diyama, I pray. You see? Yeah. Thank you very much, and uh, this is where I will draw the curtain for today because our time is up. Uh, before we go, in one minute, uh, Master Victor, what message um, do you have for your friends? Okay, um, message will keep coming every day, but what you do with the message is the most important thing. It's not all about the message coming. Now, uh, the jihad is already here. There's no doubt about that. Now, how prepared are you? You should be prepared, like I keep telling you from the onset, it's either you prepare for the best or prepare for the worst. So you have to prepare for any of them. Um, and also, most importantly, is uh, the 30th of May sit at home. That one is more the most important preparation that we have to do because if we honor the dead, those who die to defend us, they will still defend us this time around. But if we don't, if we disrespect them, believe you me, they will not defend you. So it is very, very more important for us to have a sober reflection that very day, sit at home with your family, uh, pray together and uh, honor them together, burn your candle or whatever you are going to do on that very day, honor them. That is the most simple advice. And the last advice I'm going to give you is to go buy your guns and bullets. Wait for these jihadists to come and uh, defend you. your territory. Thank you, Mada. Thank you so much. All right, uh, Mother Elvis, in a few seconds, can you please uh, pass a message? What message do you have for today uh, for our viewers before we go? My message today is very simple. You have prayed enough, dear friends. All you need to do right now is to run up and then off. If you thought that defending yourself is against the will of God, you are hallucinating because if people of Israel did have David at the dying minutes, Goliath would have wiped them out. And David came out 
and he wiped, he slaughtered the unsecumcised Christians. They didn't pray. They were there watching because they have prayed enough. Even in Deuteronomy 1 verse 6, that you have dwelt in this subjugation so long, it is time for you to rise up and defend yourself. Any pastor telling you to pray fire, ask either very pastor to go and get fire extinguisher. Because no building has been got by fire. No enemy has been engulfed by fire. Nobody has been got by fire. So it is time for you to rise up and save the fire by yourself. So if they are kind of advertising you, telling you not to worry that God is going to. One thing the Bible says, if you don't advent, he said that whatever thing he hear you say, that is what he will do for you. If you don't say anything, if you don't react, he won't even do what he won't come up for you. So stop confusing yourself. Stop uh, kind of distracting yourself. Stop. Tell yourself to rise up now and do the needful because the houses are at your doorstep. If you keep praying, they will fire you. Just one bullet. You are gone. And the one thing about Bible means the Bible said that even if you Bible says that even if your enemy kills you and repented tomorrow, he says that he will make heaven and you that was killed will make what? Hellfire. So it's better. Me, myself, I will not allow my enemy to kill me and repent. It is never done. So I please go and in the middle of getting, okay. get understanding. So my only is that respect and honor the our heroes and heroes that died on, 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 the, on the May 30th. Thank you. Thank you very much. And there will be uh, about in here for today. Thank you so much, um, our viewers out there. From me to you, I say to you, you have prayed enough go get yourself armed go get yourself prepared for what is to come stay tuned as more wonderful programs will be brought to you on biafra television i remain Ngozi Chukuka. bye for now